Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Nuska Jahan and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my opinions on the pros and cons of wearing hijab. Um, I just feel like this is a highly searched topic and I know that there are going to be a lot of you know, young Muslim women and also um, women who are converting to Islam and just thinking about wearing hijab. So basically this is going to be a very, uh, it's going to be a video that's going to be putting a little bit of pressure on me, that's why I kind of uh, put it off until I was ready to film it, so here goes. I am a modest fashion blogger. Um, I always post about hijab and modest fashion, so if you like this type of content, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I thank you in advance. Okay, so let's just get on with the video. The reason that I'm making this video is just because maybe I can, you know, say something or possibly uh, influence you know, people who are thinking about wearing hijab or are struggling. Or I can, you know, even enforce people who are currently wearing hijab and make them feel better about it. So that's kind of my intention. This is not going to be like a preaching type of video just because I don't think I'm qualified to preach. I think what I'm going to be talking about more is like the reality of wearing hijab. Um, how, you know, wearing a headscarf, being modest, um, definitely works for you in this lifetime and also the next. So. But yeah, I'm gonna be focusing more on this lifetime because usually like the imam will probably be more focused on, you know, like reaching Jannah and stuff like that and I don't think I'm qualified again, so. Yeah, um, what I'm gonna be doing to organize this video is gonna be talking about first like the cons of wearing hijab and then later on talking about the pros just because I think, I mean obviously I'm biased because I'm wearing the headscarf but I think the, the list of cons is definitely a lot shorter and the pros for me outweigh the cons so probably gonna be talking a lot more about the pros. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Um, I would say that the first con that comes to mind is that wearing the headscarf can be kind of tedious. Um, if my mom comes home from work and she has like groceries in her car and she needs someone to help get the groceries, um, it's gonna take me, you know, a few extra seconds to, you know, find something to wrap around my head, get outside the door and help her with the groceries. Um, I actually do have a video it's like more of a humorous video where I show how to prepare your emergency hijabs and I definitely think you should check it out. It's really funny. But yeah, it just gets a little tedious, um, especially when you first start out and you don't really know what you're doing. And by the way, I do have videos where if you're just learning to wear the scarf or thinking about it, um, you can refer to those videos. Um, I feel like a lot of people are searching for those and wanting that type of information, which is why I created those videos. And I definitely wish I had them um, when I was first starting out. Just because when I first started to wear the he headscarf full time, like it was always unraveling. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, there was actually an instance where I was in the parking lot and the wind was like rushing. I don't know what the word is, but like the wind was blowing towards me and my scarf just flew off and um, kind of flew into the middle of the parking lot. It was really funny, you know, in, in hindsight, but it just it gave me so much anxiety at that time but now i'm in a better place and obviously just by looking throughout my videos you can see that my style has changed um but yeah once you get to a certain point it's always better and um yeah it just takes time it's kind of tedious in the beginning um and even now like i always have to take an extra second to make sure that you know if like one of my sisters has is inviting someone over to their house for like a project if it's a male you know for like a school project I just always have to be prepared so that way um, I can be modest inside the house, so for obvious reasons. Um, but so yeah, the reason number one is kind of tedious. Um, I'd say that the second con is that sometimes you you have to really let go of like the whole, not the whole thing, but like you have to let go, go of a part of yourself that relies on your physical appearance to a certain extent. Um, what is it like if you pull out your Instagram on your phone um, you will easily find pictures of women who are um, dressed very different, differently from the average Muslim woman, right? And sometimes it can be tempting to dress kind of like that but but yeah, if, if I, like whenever I was younger I definitely felt that pressure I mean I'm still young now but when you're young you, you always feel pressure from um, like the media and stuff like that on how you should dress and it definitely takes a lot of strength to overcome that and um, I will be talking more about that 
later. So yeah, there's like your physical appearance. Um, women rely on their physical appearance, whether or not they admit it. But like by covering us, you know, by covering like this, it definitely brings out a different part of you. And again, I'll be talking a little bit more about that later. Um, what else? The last major con is that you have to deal with a lot of people, you know, especially if you're living in a non-Muslim country. Um, a lot of people have questions and most people are coming from a good place. Um, but sometimes you get like, you know, every once in a while you'll get someone who is kind of being a little malicious because we're so visibly Muslim. Uh, we always get the crap end of the stick. If, um, I say so myself just because we're more visibly Muslim and uh, people target us because we're just, you know, we're so easily identified, you know? I will link down an article that I found recently um, talking about um, how there's actually a lot more hatred um, geared towards Muslim women, especially if they're wearing hijab and it actually brings out like a certain, um, there's like a lot more psychology involved in it. And yeah, I will try to link, link it down below. But yeah, those are like the major cons. Uh, they're definitely um, heavy cons, but uh, for me, the pros outweigh the cons and I'm just gonna start talking about the pros right now. I would say that the first major pro is that like when I walk into a room, if I'm going to the grocery store or wherever, like everyone knows that I'm a Muslim woman. For me, I like to send the message that I'm a woman of faith. And for me, that's a very powerful thing because um, I feel like it streamlines my life. Um, previously, you know, before I was wearing the headscarf, I was worried about how I would be perceived. I mean, I'm still, to a certain extent, worried about that, but it was a lot more focused on, like, am I attractive enough? Am I, am I beautiful and stuff like that? And I don't know, like, I guess by the time I reached, like, my, like, 20s, I started to focus less on that. I think in my later teens, I was more focused on trying to feel beautiful. And I never really got that much like into like makeup or anything like that. Not that it's like a horrible thing, but I don't know. Like the type of clothing that I was wearing, just the way I handled myself was a lot different. And I feel like now that I'm wearing the headscarf, um, it prevents me from doing things that I would have done earlier. It essentially just streamlines your life you don't have to worry about certain things. I don't have to worry about impressing a man. I don't have to worry about impressing another woman. It just simplifies everything, really. I don't have to do my hair. I can just do like a quick bun and then wrap the scarf around it. Um, like a lot of women like to dye their hair. They like to express themselves with color. I can express myself with my scarf. I can change the color of my scarf every single day. Um, it's just like, a lot of people say that hijab is not fashion, it's not an accessory, it's uh, like a requirement. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think it's wrong to, teach, to treat it like an accessory, you know? It's fun to play with all the different uh, prints and colors. It's just a really great way to express yourself and I really like that I have another thing to add to my outfit, so. That's kind of like more of like a vanity reason, but it's all it's also fun. Another pro is that like my hair quality has improved so much. I wish I could show you, but obviously I can't. When I first started wearing the headscarf, I cut like a lot of my hair just to make it easier for me. And it just it just felt right, you know? Um, so yeah, I cut a bunch of my hair and because like I'm protecting my hair from the sun because I'm not tying it into like like a high bun. I used to tie my hair into a high bun all the time. But yeah, just, I was, I started to treat my hair a lot differently. Um, there's less exposure to the elements outside. Uh, my hair quality has definitely increased, like by a large amount. It's shiny, it's healthy. I don't want to turn this into a promotion video, but I do have a video on hair care tips for hijabis. So make sure to check those out. In addition to that, um, going along with the whole beauty thing, um, the scarf protects my neck, it protects my scalp. It's just a really great way to like prevent yourself from getting like UV rays. Like I live in Texas and previously before I started wearing hijab, um, I was very concerned that it would be like too sweaty, too gross. 
but it's actually been quite the opposite. A lot of people have this misconception that you should be wearing uh, less clothes if um, it's hot outside, but for me, I feel like if it's hot outside, you should be wearing, you should have more coverage with looser clothes. And for me, that just makes a lot more sense. There's a lot more ventilation going on. Um, why would I want to expose my whole body to, you know, such harmful UV rays when I can prevent that and feel like 10 times cooler while well, I'm wearing looser, uh, longer clothes. Yeah, that's just another pro. Oh yeah, also, just by wearing the headscarf, it's definitely prevented um, certain things from happening, certain misconceptions. Like if I go to work somewhere, people automatically know that I am, you know, Muslim and there's no like misunderstanding, there's no flirting going on. If there is, that's just weird and um, you can definitely tell if someone is just like a sick person if they're still flirting with you while you're wearing that headscarf. But yeah, I just feel like like if I wasn't wearing that scarf, I would look like any other person of any other like in America, no one, not a lot of people wear the headscarf and it's kind of hard to identify what religion they follow, what lifestyle they follow sometimes. So for me, just to wear this, people automatically know what I'm about. Kind of like, here's where I am. We can have a professional conversation. We can be respectful. We can have a discussion. We can uh, cooperate, work together, but certain lines are not going to be crossed between us. It's kind of like that message that I'm giving off and like I really feel like it, it just it's just given me again like that first uh, uh, pro that I mentioned it just streamlines your life it simplifies your life like crazy and uh, obviously there's so much more wisdom to wearing the headscarf that I cannot even begin to like understand but I really hope yeah overall I just really hope that this video gives you a good amount of understanding of what I feel like it's done for me and so yeah those are my cons and pros pros and cons. Um, I really hope that this helps you guys and make sure to leave a comment down below. I really wanted to make sure that I was in the right state of mind while I was filming this um, just so that way I could like express myself and be somewhat coherent. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I feel like this is a conversation that needs to be held more often. You know, when we were growing up, um, a lot of people tell us, you know, just wear the headscarf. They don't really give a reasoning on why it's so important. So, yeah, make sure to leave a comment on what you think is a pro or a con. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Assalamualaikum, everyone. How are you guys doing? I just thought I would be filming something a little bit more casual today. So, I'm going to be showing you... What's in my bag?